Good day everyone. I am Romel Panyares and I'm going to report about Andre Marie Ampere. So Andre Marie Ampere was a French physicist, mathematician and lay Catholic who was one of the founder of the science of classical electromagnetism. So at the age of 13, he began a serious study of mathematics using books in his father's library. At the age of 22, Andre Marie Ampere opened up a shop as a private mathematics tutor in Lyon, and he proved to be an excellent tutor, and soon students were flocking to him for help. In 1802, he became a school teacher in the town of Berg, 40 miles from Lyon, and in 1804, he moved to the French capital Paris, tutoring university level classes at the Ecole Polytechnique. His work impressed the other mathematicians so much that he was promoted to, to full professor of mathematics in 1809, despite having no formal qualification. Contribution to science He, found, he founded and named the science of electrodynamics known as electromagnetism. In, in 1800, while Ampere worked as a private tutor in Lyon, Alessandro Volta had invented the electric battery. One result of this was that, was that for the first time ever scientists could produce a steady electric current. In 1820, Hans Christian Oersted discovered that a flow of electric current in a wire could deflect a nearby magnetic compass needle. Oersted had discovered a link between elect electricity and magnetism or electromagnetism. Ampere was fascinated by Oersted's discovery and decided that he would try to understand why electric current produced a magnetic effect. <coughs> so Ampere, Ampere began by repeating Oersted's work and before the end of September 1820 he made a discovery of his own and he found out that if electric current flows in the same direction in two nearby parallel wires the wires attract one another so so if electric current flow in opposite direction the wires repel the wires repel one another so Ampere found that, found that parallel wires with, with currents flowing in the same direction attract each other. Cur currents in opposite direction repel each other. The Ampere's law. So Ampere found out found an equation connecting the size of a magnetic field to the electric current that produces it. This equation known as Ampere's circuital law is highly mathematical requiring university level, level mathematics to use and understand. It is shown below in differential form relating the magnetic field to the current, current density. So this equation applies to situation where, where the electric current is constant. Over 40 years later, James Clerk Maxwell modified this equation so it would also apply to situation in which the current is not constant. In this form, it became one of his four famous e equations establishing that light is an electromagnetic wave. The electron. So, to explain the relationship between electricity and magnetism, Ampere proposed the existence of the new particle respons responsible for both of these phenomena, the electrodynamic molecule. Uh, a microscopic charged particle we can think of as a prototype of the electron. Ampere correctly believed that huge number of these electrodynamic molecules were moving in the in electric conductors, causing electric and magnetic phenomena. Discovery of fluorine. Ampere discovered and named the element fluorine. In 1810, he proposed that the compound we now call hydrogen fluoride consisted of hydrogen and a new element. The new element had similar properties to chlorine, he said, and he and he and Humphrey Davy, who was a British, entered into correspondence. Even though France and Britain were at war at that time, Ampere proposed that 
fluorine could be isolated by electrolysis while Davy had previously used to discover elements such as sodium and potassium. Organizing the chemical elements In 1816, 53 years before Mendeleev published his periodic table, Ampere proposed that the chemical elements 48 were known at that time should be grouped according to their properties. He made a number of mistakes but successfully grouped. The alkali metals are sodium and potassium. The alkali earth metal metals are magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. The hal halogens are chlorine, fluorine, and iodine. He, he was also moving into the right direction by identifying similarities in. The, nobles met, the noble metals are rhodium, palladium, iridium, platinum, and gold. The first series transition elements were iron, cobalt, nickel, and copper. The transition elements niobium, molybdenum, chromium, and tungsten. And that's all. Thank you.